Hi. It's a beautiful spring day, and I have these gorgeous flowers here to share with you. I'm outside in the garden in Pacific Grove with the wind and the warmth of the sun, feeling such gratitude to be alive. I'd like to teach you another breathing practice called diaphragmatic breathing. And you can practice this lying on your back if you want to with your knees bent, with your feet wide and your knees together so that you can feel the release in your low back and your sacrum. You're comfortable lying on the earth. Or you can do this breathing practice just sitting up nice and tall. And what you want to do is take your hands, and I like to place my hands. I'm going to sit up a little bit here so you can see. Right beneath the sternum and ribs and above the navel, right about here, around my belly. I want you to think about the diaphragm as a domed shape muscle that lives under that rib cage. And so when you inhale, the diaphragm moves down. And when you exhale, the diaphragm moves up. And so when you're inhaling and feeling the breath, think about like a balloon filling with air and the belly moves away from the spine on the inhale. And then when you exhale, the belly moves in toward the spine. So I want you to feel that movement with your hands. Sitting up nice and tall, let's begin together five rounds of diaphragmatic breathing after the next inhalation. Feel free to close your eyes if you want to. Going nice and slow filling the abdomen, the diaphragm, filling up, and allowing the breath to go slowly out through the nostrils, allowing the belly to draw inward and letting all the stale air out. Taking your time, just feeling your way slowing down the breath. Softening the jaw, softening the back of the throat. Filling and emptying very mindfully. Strengthening the diaphragm, calming down the nervous system, particularly affecting the vagus nerve, which is a very important, very important awareness to have to really calm down the whole system of the body by affecting the vagus nerve. Breathing is so essential to calming down the nervous system. And when we can learn to breathe slowly, we're in rest and digest in the parasympathetic nervous system. And when we breathe quickly, it's almost like a fight or flight breathing. And so, Taking time to just slow everything down. So notice the effects of diaphragmatic breathing. Practice it often. And enjoy the journey of the breath. Namaste.